Hello, everyone. Pockets here. Back again playing some more EVE Online. We are back on Kel, taking another look at some emerging sites. And as you can see, we're sitting in a one of my favorite ships in the game. I just love this hull. Uh, this is a rattlesnake. Now, we're going to try... It's a little different. Uh, I've been asked to, sh to take a look at this fit. It was sent to me by an anonymous user who wishes not to be named. So I don't know why that'd be, but thank you, anonymous user. You know who you were. Or anonymous player fan. I don't know what you want to call yourself, but thank you, thank you. We're going to try this fit. Now, for my Omegas, I've been doing full clear runs, and I don't think that's necessary. This fit isn't designed for full clears. We could do the same we did it as we did in our Praxis and have a mobile depot swap out, but if you're going to do full clears, I still think maybe the Praxis is the way to go. We'll see how quick this is. So doing a full clear with the mobile depot way takes about three minutes. Maybe four, so if we factor in the 60 second difference plus fitting time, if this is at more than three minutes faster than our Drakovic for full clearing, then I would say then it's a little bit faster overall if you're going to do a full clear. Now, what I want to see is just how fast between payouts this ship does without full clear as a way to, if you're doing it as a pure ISK grind and don't care about the salvage. Uh, we will loot because looting is... That's just, you have to, you should loot. Though even just the red loot is totally worth the time because it doesn't take any extra time since you have 60 seconds between. But let's take a look at the fit. Uh, the nice thing, first and foremost, on this fit is that it's about half what my current Drekovic fit is. Okay. So 700 million, I think I paid just about 800 for it all in. I already had the hull, so there's some mathing in there, but I already had the hull, so some of the fits, and so on and so on. But let's take a quick look through it. So in the highs, we have five times rapid heavy missile launcher twos and right now i've got pre precision inferno missiles in there and in the hull i have the fury as well so the my current idea is in the first two waves or first wave and a half to run the precisions just to wipe out the smaller stuff first and then part way through when we have a few ships left in the second wave switch reload into heavies uh, the timing that's going to be diff different we're going to have to figure that out that may be a place we have to work on um, and while while we're reloading that the drones do the work on the end of that second wave. That way we have our heavies loaded for that VEDMAC, and I think if we get the VEDMAC down fast, this will work out quite well. Uh, also, so we have that. Uh, the fit that was sent to me had a T2 NOS up here. Uh, NOS doesn't work on the NPC, so it basically is no good. It just uses cap for no reason. We learned that in, I think, my Dracovic? One of them. We learned that in the Praxis, I think. That it doesn't actually work and I should have known that but anyways we definitely verified that parallel enduring target painter and t2 stasis webifier since the fed navy doesn't reach out to the fed mech unless it's overheated anyways this is fine uh, this will always grab the closer orbiting frigates and stuff if you do want to web down the fed mech while overheating your web go ahead and get the faction one so you can reach out to 17 kilometers or whatever it ends up being uh, that'll help so this will slow us down so we can apply drones, because we are using heavy drones and heavy missiles, so we definitely want to get the application on them. Two times thermal, pith C-type thermal uh, dissipators, or dissipation amplifiers, I guess it's called, and one A-type explosive, pith A-type explosive. Uh, basically, we just want to get the main damage types. I guess we're going to ignore the EM in this fit. We'll see how it goes. And then two times large shield extender twos. So this is a passive recharge rattlesnake. So there's no boosters, no repairing modules. And the lows are just a full rack of uh, shield power relay twos. Uh, if the tank really, really holds well, we may drop one or two of these. You can see we get 200 HPS per second, but factoring the resist, we could put that into Pypha. I didn't bother to see what that is. It's, but it should be enough. If, it's an, if it seems to be comfortable enough, we never hit too low. We might drop a couple of these for some damage mods, maybe. But this is the fit that was as it was given, so that's what we're going to start with. Uh, what do I have here? Yeah, that's all good. Uh, two large core field extenders in the rigs and a war cal warhead calcification catalyst one. Uh, so this is the fit as it was given. We can tweak it around as we see fit, but I think that's a pretty good balance. And again, if the tank really, really holds, we can swap some of these out for some damage mods. And then for the drones, right now we're carrying T2 berserkers. Uh, they do a little more damage, but they don't... And then you have the Federation, or the Republic Fleet Berserkers. Uh, these are a little bit more armored, a little more tanky, a little more tracking. So these will be probably better overall against smaller stuff. We may, and we're probably going to switch to Ogres for the Vedmac. Um, 
and then salvaged units just to fill up the last 25 meters cubed. Again, if we do decide to do full salvage with this, if it ends up being, say, three minutes faster, you could bring a mobile depot and some salvage units. But this is going to be a pure DPS run. So we're going to measure, as usual, we're going to do a few sites. We're going to measure payout to payout. So we get the first tick, wait for the next spawn site to spawn, warp to that. Uh, we are cap stable, but we will probably want to, since we don't have batteries, which is the other thing I'm a little bit worried about, is no battery here. Um, so we probably want to get rid of the starvings even more higher priority. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is uh, tangling baddies. There's enough people here. I'm sure that the emerging sites in this system are being run, but we'll go look. Uh, the, emer the, the tangling will, if they switch to drones, slow them down and allow their friends to apply damage to them much better. So we'll have to watch for that as well. Oh, there is no merging here. Okay, we are now warping to this site. Let's see if anybody's here first off. I don't see any blues, so that's good. There's blues in systems. It's almost guaranteed they're running this. <laughs> Twelve people's a pretty good chance there's somebody here. Uh, it's already spawned, but nobody's here. Okay. So we're going to quickly do a quick warp over here. Grab one of these and warp within ugh, 70. I don't know why that was being so slow, but... Warp drive. Active. And then we'll drop our MTU and then we'll kill these guys. See how the tank holds? This is going to be so much slower than my Drek here. That's for sure. Maybe I should switch to my Macarial uh, to get the warp speed bonus, but with the new <laughs> warp increase, it's not so bad. Are right, going to want to get started? Is there any Rex? Yeah, so someone spawned the site but didn't actually start killing things. We're going to wait. Uh, duh, duh. Get our E-War on them. Wait till they're in range of our web. Uh, no, we actually want this one first. We're going to kind of go, ahead and go in this order. And we're going to use our Navy Berserkers for tracking. Just watch for them to switch. With the E-War out, it should keep the aggro on us as long as we keep our E-War going. These are not... I can't, the name is too long, I can't see. There we go. Can't see if they're fighting. All right. So let's see how this is going. Oh yeah, they're done pretty quick. One, two, three... So they're struggling just a little bit on the frigates, but they're going down pretty quick. Take out the Rasnaborg, Web, Target Paint, give them a second to drop the speed and then shoot missiles. Just to not waste that first volley with some super low DPS numbers. Our tank isn't amazing, but that's because the Rasnaborgs are doing EM, which is our hole. So we do have to make sure we take the Rasnaborgs out. Learning this. Um, order of operations is going to be pretty critical. Uh, we need the starvings, but maybe not quite as priority. Maybe we take out Rasnaborgs first, and those Kikis for sure, especially the Rasnaborgs, because they do the EM thermal, which is right in our hole, or the EM, sorry, EM kinetic, in addition. I think they fixed this. Yeah, so here we go. So they're doing EM. Oh, pay attention. Okay. We got these gone, and then this. We do have tangling, so we'll have to watch that. And I think about halfway through this, I'm going to switch the other missiles, probably when they're close. Not the harrowings, I don't want them first. There we go. Actually, that's pretty good. You picked the right one. Drop the Raz first, the two Rasnaborgs. And then the starving and tangling. Starving. Ah. Uh, I think we're doing okay. Watching my cap, I think we can get the uh, Kiki down first. Oops. I just pulled my drones off. Itchy trigger finger. Uh, we don't want to reload this. I'm actually going to take this opportunity to reload just because uh, it does take 30 seconds. 
drones can probably handle it pretty good. Yeah, so far it's working pretty well. Did I drop my MTU? I did. <laughs> I did, I did. Not showing ammo. So we'll see how fast they take out these things. So we probably could have shot those last two missiles, but then it would have kicked into reload and we'd have to reload twice. I could have shot one more volley and maybe sped it up a little bit. Uh, we will use these for now, see how they apply. Hmm. Yeah, see, even under webs, the, the heavy drones are still missing these little guys a fair bit. That must be our missiles, the 400 damage. So it's all right. We're only losing a little bit. Honestly, we could probably just reload as on the last one. That's probably what we'll do in the future, is we'll do the switching to the Furies on the last. Let's not waste the volley. We come in here. I really like the Rattlesnake hull. It's one of my favorites. So, I'm really glad to be flying another one. And I think I'm going to try and save, like, ten of these for the Vedmac, and hope that that's enough between him and the Ogres. Or them and the Ogres. So this is slowing us down. I think we can get faster. I'd like to try to run three of them for this video. And try both. I think last two frigates is be long enough to do our reload. So I'm going to put like three or four into this guy and then stop it so I have ten for the Vedmac. That should be pretty decent. We don't have the renewing on this either, so... Yeah, maybe some, like, drone tracking computers in the lows. The tank's holding. We'll see how it holds up against the VEDMAC, but... I definitely think we could use some more tracking on those drones. Just watching the combat log. There he is. And then we need this and this. First. Okay. Da, da, da. Just waiting for the lock, because I want to... See how fast he goes down and how our tank holds. And then this guy, and then that guy, and then that guy, and then that guy. Will be kind of the order we want. We'll pre web this guy here in a second. So that's not too bad. 10 wasn't enough. Probably gonna reload before he drops, but he's dropping pretty quick. Once we get these down, we should stabilize here as well. I think. We're still okay on our cap as well. Actually, 10 was almost enough. Another 2 or 3 would have done it. Uh, we're going to stop this. Oh, I didn't catch it. That sucks. Target paint that. That'll help the drones. Drones aren't being aggroed, so we're good. And now I'm not going to bother switching. I'm just going to shoot the Furies. I should have stopped it. I wanted to switch it to auto reload off, but it wasn't fast enough. <laughs> Come on, give me my missiles. We need to speed this up. So the single one, that's us. That's our missiles. So we're still applying quite well, even against the, the Kikis with the Fury missiles, so I might just go to full Fury missiles and not worry about the precisions, because it is make it does appear to be doing more damage. Uh, about the same. Let's map me in the drones. It's hard to say. Actually, it's easy to say because they're doing explosives. So we just watch. That's our drones because they're ogres this time. Okay. I know how we can check it. Just got to return our ogres. Can I? Please get that Rasnaborg dead. We'll go back to our Navy, Berserkers. 
for the extra bit of tracking. Yeah, so we're doing this is just fine, on the, especially against the Kikis. We're only dropping... Well, we're dropping a lot. <laughs> uh, starving now? No, we can take out this Kiki. So the explosive are drones. We're doing 670. So we are doing more damage to the de to the Kikis than we were with the precision, I think. Check it here. That's not bad. I don't know if it's that much faster than my Dracovic, but it is half the cost. So if you're not looking for salvage, this isn't doing too bad. Oh, I should have stopped that volley of missiles. Okay, yeah, so it's doing about the same. It's doing about the same actual damage, it looks like. Because we're around the 400 mark with the precision missiles on the frigates as well. A module has run out of charges. I missed it again. So now our tank is actually recovering as we f finish off these last few. So right about half. We have two frigates left. So we'll see. This should reload before we finish off these frigates. So that means two would be enough to do a reload. Because <laughs> this one frigate, we were at half. He's dead. This, so yeah, two would definitely be enough to do a reload to switch over missiles if that's how we decide to do it. Switch him after this guy. Because we have 60 seconds before the next site spawns. Do, do, do. Okay, that's enough of those. Switch to precision, because we'll check those at the beginning of the next room. Open cargo. Grab these two. Scoop. Call drones. Wait for the next site. Okay. So that is our first payout. It is in the wallet. See it there in the wallet. Let's shrink this down so we can actually look at it. At 1908, we were paid out. 1936. We'll see how long it takes to the next site. Now we're going to go to precision. I want to see how much damage it does to the frigates on the precision missiles because if it's the same, we're just going to go with fury all the way. It shouldn't be the same. It does 500 overall, like raw damage less. So it is possible that we get about the same out of the two. This is also for sciencing. So you can see how much time we have here. This is 60 seconds, but we probably couldn't salvage all of this in that time. You could run your salvage drones while you wait and just get what you can, but there we go. With the with the, with the Damovic, warp drive this is all done by now, and then we just warp to the next site. So that that's the key. If you want salvage, I still think that's going to be the way to go. If you want to do it in one ship. If you have two accounts and you want to bring have a like a Noctis or something following you, that's also what a lot of people do. Uh, the salvage value has gone down, but these surveys are definitely worth it. Like, that's an extra 8 million, so that site was 12 million. So we'll see what the between is, and we make 12 million, almost 13. So if this is like 10 minutes, it's not bad at all. And that site was pre-spawned, so we wasted a, f a minute or two, you know, with the warping. And waiting for the... Th ugh. That was a little bit of lag there, eh? Warp within 70, because we want to be right on it. And we should get there before they spawn too much. We could also just wait here, let them come to us, but... I think that'll slow us down. 
So we are in Warp Before the Triangles land? Yes. Okay. Oh, only three. This initial spawn. Whoa, what that was that? We want that, uh... The Rasmaborg Kiki first. Has to be. Come on. Maybe a module that speeds up our lock time. Holy. And we're going to use the Berserkers. We want to watch the damage on the starving Rasnaborg Damovic. And we got that, we got that, we got that. Okay, we're into it. Uh, we can get our missiles out now. So it is more damage by about... Well, that's actually pretty good. It's about 100... 50 to 100 per shot? On these... Uh, oops. Well, that doesn't help. Well, whatever. <laughs> we needed to watch the frigate anyway. I put the missiles on the wrong dude. Alright. Two. Okay. So it is a fair bit more with the precision. Okay. Well, this is smaller waves. This is going to be alright. We are getting... We gotta watch our cap though. We gotta take out the starving quite quickly here. This has to go first, then the starving. Yeah, because we're actually sucking up a lot of cap here. Can we shoot our missiles? That'd be great. And once we kill this guy. Okay, stop the missiles. Gotta get this starving off the field so our capacitor can regen a bit. And... Stop the missiles. Let's use a few of these missiles, and then we'll switch... over to heavies. Or to furies, sorry. to Furies at this point, please. Okay. Yeah, with that starving gun, we should... We're going to run into some cap issues. we got to get the Vedmac down, and then I, whatever starvings, I think, in the next wave. So those are going to be pretty close. That was pretty well timed that time, I think. We'll reload just as this guy dies. Pretty close. So we'll put one volley into it, maybe? Just to help out? Perfect. Alright. Get you, and the dual starvings have to go... first. We'll pre-slow that guy down. Uh, we kind of wanted to switch the drones, but I don't think we will. I think we're going to be okay. Okay, then this guy. Then these two. In that order. Ooh, it's going to be tight on everything, so... Get that Vedmac down. He's the biggest problem here. We are on missiles, so we could be orbiting. To be honest. Wouldn't hurt us. In fact, let's do that. Okay, let's get our drones over here now. Gotta start taking these down. Our missiles are doing a great job over here. Come on, get them down. We're gonna. It, the nice. The, the only problem is if we do run out of cap, the only thing we lose is our web and stuff, so I'm not that worried. I kinda don't want to reload. If we can kill him with this last volley. Nope. We're gonna have to keep. Put the drones back. A module has oh, run out good. Of charges. Yep, I know. That's, uh, interesting. 
Probably should have kept the drones on that bed mac, but got to get our DPS down. I don't even at this point starving doesn't even matter. <laughs> this is interesting. Learning the new priorities. Uh, that's next. It's that Kiki that needs to die, and then yeah. So I guess the starving doesn't matter because all it does is turns off our webs. We can still apply some damage. Can I shoot at this guy? That'd probably be helping too. Uh oh. Yeah, so I think I did that wrong. I needed to really focus down that uh, Vedmac. We'll run this as long as we can, get our missiles out there. Are we stabilizing? I think we are now stabilizing. No? <laughs> wow! Okay. Learning the new order. It doesn't even matter if we starve out because we have to kill the, the DPS. Uh, let's maybe just web. Maybe we just run one of these. Sorry, I know I'm quiet. Trying to figure this out. And that's going to be the last cycle of that. How are we doing here, though? Okay, I would call that good. Let's get this guy dead, because he's going to keep us completely nuded out. So it's not quite as uh, no-brainer as my Dracovec either, but I think if I killed, if I just left the drones on the the bed mac and then moved to the Raz and just let this do what it's doing, you can see we're doing a lot less damage to this thing without the webs. Can I even... I have no capacitor, so... But we've recovered. So that's that's okay. This will let us... No! I'm just going to stick to Furies. It's, it's good enough. We should start getting some capacitor back. Aha! We have one! <laughs> uh, the problem with not having any of these working... Is that they could very easily switch to our drones now, so we'll have to watch that. At some point, should have some capacitor at some point, right? <laughs> I would like to fit a cat battery in there, I think. Or swap out this. Mm, like, swap one of these out for a rig and put a battery in. I can shoot my missiles now. Can we turn any of this on? Let's turn this on. Does it work? It does. Oof. We might drain ourselves, but... Yeah. We can't run both of them when we're uh, soaked out. That's okay. The capacitor is empty. Damn it. Turned it off too late. Yeah, so that didn't help us. That didn't help us at all. Um, order of operations. <laughs> I would like, to, like I said, I'd like to fit a battery. I don't know if we could afford to swap one of these, maybe the thermal one out for a battery. And switch this into a rig, maybe? I'll look at it. Nope, not that one. Let's just put one of these on. It's already too late. I've sucked it dry. <laughs> Habit. Okay, interesting. I like that. But you can see the shield easily recovered, but we are going to have to let the capacitor recover. So that would be a downside to salvaging after the fact. Is that um, you wouldn't give your capacitor any time to regen. And I think maybe killing the starvings early, like in the first two waves, focus the, the starvings down first. So that you enter the final wave with enough capacitor. I think that might also help. Actually, we're going to take this opportunity to reload to precision. Oh, 
while we let our drones do the rest of the work. We're going to head back to our MTU. So I'm going to start orbiting the MTU as well until after the Vedmax dead. Uh, it might help a little bit. Although with the way these work, they have such good tracking, I don't know how much damage, how many times they're going to miss us just because we're orbiting. So we're going to grab these. That is another wreck. We are going to... We're going to take as long as we can. We're just going to let this sit. Actually, no. No, no. This will give us a number. Let's do this. Okay, that's a nothing. Okay. And is that a wreck with a loot? No, we're all looted. So scoop. Return. All right, so that was not optimal. It's still 12 minutes, 14 minutes actually. 14 minutes between payouts. So let me reset, let me get my cap set up. I'm gonna switch to just Furies and I'm gonna try two more sites in this video. So it's gonna be a little bit longer. We're gonna try them maybe a little better run. So let me go do that and I'll bring you back for the first of the other two sites because I think a lot of that was my fault. Okay, we are recharged up and we are going to run this next site as soon as my <laughs> missiles reload. Ugh. So what I'm going to try now is just with straight furies. I'm going to take out the starvings early from the first two rooms and then focus DPS down in the final room and see if that's enough. I tried while I was waiting and while I was warping, because I didn't have enough capacitor to actually warp, I did play at the fitting a bit, and it's going to be tough to fit a battery in there. Uh, we lose about 6% or something of our... Excuse me. Um, thermal resist if we drop one of these. However, we could maybe change that by going up, upping this to an A-type. I'll play with it after this. I'll do another video if that's the way to go, or the way I go with it. If we can get a similar tank with a battery, even at the slightly increased cost, it might be worth it. But 14 minutes without full clear still has the Drek in the win. However, this is about half the cost if you factor in the Drek fit and the implants. So, I mean, as a pure income source, this may be the way to go. For the long run, the Drek is going to end up paying for itself and then making money faster. It just takes longer to pay for itself, basically. Alright. Can we grab one of these? Drive active. And we are going to orbit our can just to reduce what DPS we can. We might just go with ogres as well. They're just just all out kind of maximum DPS mode, I think. Maximum raw damage and see what happens. This is a bit of a bigger room. We'll try to conserve as much cap as we can because our, our um, shields regenerate faster so once we get the DPS off the field they'll, it'll catch up quicker than our capacitor will. So for these first two rooms we're going to worry about our capacitor first. I think that'll help. And we're just going to keep an eye on our drones. If they get webbed that could be a problem but I've got a few other ships I'd like to try. I'm kind of working on 
a blaster Hyperion like dual rep idea. Just because I want a reason to fly a Hyperion, it might be interesting. See if I can do something with blasters, battleships and blasters, but that's going to take a lot of webbing. Um, the Vindicator, I know, the Vindicator is really cool, but everybody's using Vindicator, so I'm kind of looking for something else myself. All right, so that went well. We didn't lose too much cap there. We'll just have to keep an eye on it. We gotta conserve as much as we can to hit that final room because we definitely need to focus down things like, ooh, this is like so slow. Let's orbit, we don't have any speed, so orbiting even at this would probably do it for that final room, just to get some traversal. We don't have enough speed to worry about uh, maximizing traversal. Uh, let's just get a couple more shots here. I want to catch the reload before the next spawn. Okay, so we're going to do two more sites. If I cut this into two videos, that's great. If not, it's going to be a little bit longer video, but I think it's worth it for the science. Okay. I think that's actually going to work out quite well. We might have a little bit of lag, but we have our lock time to consider as well, so... There we go, we're at max speed orbiting. So that's as much traversal as we're gonna get. We could probably even go closer, but that's fine. We're almost within loot range of it, so it's not so bad. And there's the reload, and we'll just wait for this thing to die. Uh, one volley. Okay, and we want this, when the Zori is next, and then the Raz, and the Raz. That's gonna be our priorities. Drone's ready fighting something. So we'll let the missiles take this out. Drone's have already gone here, so rather than... I know it's splitting the DPS and it's probably not smart, but the missiles do make short work of this... Uh, these guys. Typically. One day. Maybe. <laughs> we'll race them. We'll race our drones. Because, like, once we get these done, our shields will recharge while we're fighting the rest of these. That's what I'm kind of thinking. Okay. Start targeting these up. Zori is first, and then the Kiki, because if we go show info, we see that they do more EM Thermal. They do the same damage type. Look at that. Okay, come on. And we'll just burn through these, and then when there's... And this is just the same thing as last time. And this should give our tank a little bit of time. We're going to not shoot the last volley. Like that. Reload all. Okay. Excellent. So that went a little quicker. We'll see how this last room goes. I should have checked the time when we started, but it's payout to payout anyways. And you can see how fast this regens once the uh, DPS is off the field. So we'll come into this with this final wave with a full rack of missiles. Ogre's already on the field. Oh, uh, we can... Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And a pretty decent capacitor. That's, that's I think, going to be key. We're going to do one... We'll do two volleys of this. Just to help apply some DPS. Since he's slowed down all the way anyway already. Kind of just sort of letting things charge up. Whoops, that's not what I wanted. Poop. Let them speed up a little bit. <laughs> okay, excellent. Last wave. 
Zoria die. Then the two starvings. This one's not going to be too, too bad. We'll just everything on the Zoria to start. We'll Pre-slow this guy down. Actually, no, we can conserve some capacitor. We'll slow him down after. I think that's the right order for this room. And then this. So this renewing, okay, good. The renewing was not shooting at us, but, and then these guys. Okay. And then we do have to let everything recharge at some point, because we do need to go into the next one, almost full capacitor. One more volley. One more volley. I'm trying to time it so I don't waste a volley there. And we're going to wait for this uh, speed to come down. And then shoot. So we're getting maximum damage out of each rate volley. So yeah, that went a lot smoother. We didn't have near as much uh, DPS enemies this time around, though, as well, so that helped. I'm just going to wait for his speed to come down a bit. Shoot our last two missiles. Just kind of try to maximize our application. Woo. Makes for a long video when you do four of these and you're trying to learn, I tell you. Okay, there's the final DPS, major DPSer. Missiles are at about half, so he'll be almost dead before we get there. Let's get this guy. I'm gonna put this renewing at the beginning of this, because that will speed things. Th they don't really matter so much, I don't think, but in fact. Put him here. Oh, we do have missiles now. One volley. So we are still taking a fair bit of damage. It's probably this this Rasnaborg uh, tangling here. Waited for him to slow down, then apply a couple missile volleys. This will help us kill these faster, just because they're not repping it. It'll give us that little one or two less cycles. Oops, I turned that off one one shot too early, I think. Alright, wait for him to slow down. Missile's out. Whew. Okay. So yeah, that, that one went a lot quicker. I still don't think it's as fast as my... Uh, my drac, to be honest. Can we shoot some missiles at this guy now? That'd be good. He wasn't quite slowed down all the way yet, but because we don't have the re renewing out there now, we're actually getting a better kill, faster kills. But I don't think we have time to kill the renewing. Uh, I don't think we have time to kill the renewing before, say, the Vedmac. We would just die, so we definitely have to. Screw it. So you can see, we used about half. And we are going to have to warp. We're going to reload this. Which I should have done immediately. But that's okay. By the time we get on grid. Almost thinking we're placing... But we can't really afford that either. Yeah, it's a little hard. It's definitely not as chill as my Drac. Either of them. So we are going to probably have newt issues in the next room. We don't have time to warp to station to re redo it either because we spend too much time in warp. Well, we maybe have enough time. 
I had done it immediately. We'll see how this goes. We are going to hit that almost full shield, so that's good. Drive. Almost need to do precision for the first two waves, at least till the second set of starvings is down. It's tricky. It's tricky business. It's right about 57%. We're stable at 38%. So we might be able to hold if we kill the starvings first. This will be the trial. We'll see what we get this down to. But yeah, as always, take a look at the fit. See what I've done. See what I can... Like, give me suggestions if there's an order for killing that would work better. Uh, maybe a tweak to the fit. Although the tank does have... You know, as we saw in that first set, it can struggle in that final wave still. It's crazy. Uh, maybe if I implanted it up. Some shield implants of some sort. But... Work within 70. Warp drive active. So that double warp is also probably not helping. <laughs> so maybe it is better to sit here and wait, wait for them to come in, but that'll just increase our time, I think. Because we have to wait for them. They have to fly a fair piece before we can start hitting them. And we got a lot of Raznaborgs in this one. Okay, we'll get that guy dead. There's a tankling. Okay. Well, let's get everything locked up now that we have our kind of main targets in order. Three. Give our missiles a second for that first volley, and there we go. I think we'll take this guy out, like again, it'll just speed up these final three. Okay. I usually do it, you know, when it's about 140, because by the time that first volley gets there, they should be pretty close to as slowed down as they're going to get. Okay, so we're just working through. I'm taking out the renewing first, just to make it a little faster on the rest of them. We're going to start watching for that last volley. Oh, wow. That really happened fast. I think it, it'll be a natural reload cycle this time. Should work. By the time everything dies? Yeah. No, it does work, though. If this is something, it is fun. It's, like I said, a lot cheaper, so... It'll do it for you. It, it, it shows me just kind of how tall my order is to make a day one alpha capable of doing these. So <laughs> I am kind of working on it. I've got an idea that may work. Can we focus fire, my friend? Please and thank you. Can I just one more volley of this? Um, yeah, it just how tall an order that really is to get a Praxis day one alpha to run these sites at all. So uh, I'll see. I do have one more plan, but I'm a little less convinced at this point after trying this uh, rattlesnake here. This rattlesnake is a beast, and it's still struggling a little bit with that final wave. So stay tuned for that. I will definitely be bringing that to the channel once I've got it all sort of sorted out. Starving. Rasnaborg. Rasnaborg. And we will just in time... He almost had that Raz down before. This should pull aggro off my drones, right? I'm going to put one of my Emor on this guy in a second. Because he could really kill those drones if we're not careful. There we go. Okay. Sweet. So that was down fast. We're actually still at 58%. So we haven't lost any capacitor, really. So that's not bad. We're going to hold a lot better down at this end, because this is where like our peak recharge is at about 25%. So 
this this sort of last 15 to 20 percent 25 percent is where we're gonna hold it's kind of where we draw the line so if we can maintain it should work and we'll see how long this took again 14 minutes so it's about four two to four minutes slower than my Dracovic with full salvage on the Drac from the first two sites. So we'll see how fast these two are. I think these ones are going a little better. Why am I not shooting my missiles? That, you know, that cost us about, you know, 10 seconds. That's enough missiles. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter because you're just shooting at me. Apply. Watch the speed. There's good. Just so that first volley hits for as much as it can. That saves us reload time in the end if we're more efficient with our missiles. I need to reload these now. I almost forgot. That would have been terrible bad. In fact, it might be a problem. <laughs> See how fast they kill this guy. Are we orbiting or are we stopped? It says orbiting now. I don't know if I was. I was moving. Alright. Uh, did we make it? No. And one starving. That's good. That's good. That buys us a little bit of time. And then this guy. This guy. Come on, missiles. We can't actually web that guy, so that's fine. Oh, I accidentally hit F2. There we go. Wow. See? They almost had that guy dead again. Do have to watch. There are some people not targeting us. Uh, with our E war out, tar target painter should make us a priority. Let's grab this guy and we'll web him. That should turn him to us. Okay. We're going to hold the web off though until we're ready. So here's the moment of truth. You know what? I think we're okay. We'll move this guy down the line here. Start webbing. Because we we held better this time than we did last time. No, no. No, no. Keep target painting that bed, Mac, you silly. Start targeting everything up. Come on, kill him. So we can switch to this, uh, these Raznaborgs. All right, so now that's the tank that we're worried about. Capacitor's still above 50, so we are holding against this starving now. I put it this way, I'm not sure. We'll keep an eye on it. We'll see when, if when we have to switch to him when we get a little closer to the bad part of our curve here. That's going to be missiles. You can save one volley for this guy and then reload. So we will wait again for this to hit about there. Do our one volley just to get the maximum damage out of it. <laughs> a module has run out of charges. How are we doing? Okay, yeah, this will work. That was better. That was a better process. And then here we can sort of, if we were lower in capacitor, we could have prioritized him over this guy. Because basically, as long as we stay positive, we should be okay. Oops, shit! Accidentally pressed the button early. That was stupid. Now we can do it. Alright, cool. That worked a lot better. We'll see what the timing is on that. I would say that's about as good as we're going to get. I mean, we may go a little faster if we switch precisions, but the damage is pretty close. There's some missiles we can start going with. Now we should be holding. And climbing, even. We should, we should average out to... It should be 38%. 39.8%, so that's where we should hold. So as long as we're above that, we know we're holding. Oops, I didn't optimize my missiles that time, but that's okay, it's a bigger target. Uh, we'll take out the renewing next. That'll speed up the rest of the frigates. Our tank should be recovering now, and everything is hunky-dory. So that was a much better run. That is a better indicator of what this does. Um, if I, in review, I may not show the first two. We'll see how it all looks. We're at over an hour now, so I 
may just show these last two. The first two took, you can see it here, from 1922. So it took up to here, that's the payout to payout. Was uh, seven, uh, yeah, 17 minutes. 17 and a half minutes, 17 minutes, 20 seconds. So that is not, not ideal. But we'll see how much this one is. Actually, sorry, that was that's was that's one right here. 08. So it took 14 minutes between the two. So this is the first payout of this next wave. So we'll see how long it takes from this one to the next one. So if I don't show, just know that the first time I went through it took 14 minutes, but I struggled. I ran out of cap, and I think I didn't have my sort of target priority order down yet. So that should help. Uh, yeah, we want the one more volley, so we'll just let it reload naturally. This seems a lot faster. We'll see how that was. For science. Honestly... At the end of the day, I mean, yes, half the price from my Damovic, but it still clears about as fast with full salvage, and I don't ever really feel like I'm in trouble. So, if we bling this out a bit, maybe if we look for implants for the rattlesnake, it would do as well. But we also have a lot longer targeting uh, time, so it takes us a lot longer to actually target the ships. And our warp speed and align time is much slower, so still I think I'm going to lean towards the Damovic. Unless this is 8 minutes, and it just feels longer because I've been doing it for an hour and a half. I still think the Damovic's the way to go. Even the previous Damovic with, um, without the implants, which is about the same cost as this. The triple rep Damovic. Which could also be tweaked a bit. <laughs> I don't know. It's crazy, but... All right, that gives us our numbers. So payout to payout was 14, 14 minutes, just under 14 minutes. So yeah, I'm pretty convinced that the Damovic is still, or the Dracovic, not the Damovic, gotta be crazy doing it in a Damovic. The Dracovic is still the way to go. Uh, Cause it does a 14 minutes without the, without the worry does it without any sort of worrying and it does full salvage so while the salvage isn't worth all that much in the same amount of time even if it's only a couple million uh, it's just the way to go so that's the video if you saw the fourth that's great thank you for watching through it if I did cut it down just to the last two just know that this was the better run of the two by about yeah eight minutes so yeah and I'll tell you, it is a fun fit. If you want to fly a rattlesnake, it is half the cost of my other Dracovic. But again, my triple rep does it in about the same amount of time. And it does full salvage. And the more expensive one of the Dracovic does it in less time with full salvage and none of the concern. So there you go. That's my saying. I still think my Dracovic that I've been running is the better way to go. If someone has a... Vindicator or a Hyperion fit that you figure will do them faster than I don't even care full salvage faster than 12 minutes if you have one that'll do it faster than 12 minutes whether it's full salvage or not I will definitely take a look at it uh, let me know in the comments section down below or you can send it to me on my discord or via in-game email I will check all of that uh, so yeah let me know what you think down in the comment section down below as always if you did like this video and you want to see more of this sciencing of the emerging conduits, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. That shows me that the video is something people are interested in. And we'll go from there. As always, you can reach out to me on Twitter. Link will be in the description of the video as well as shown at the bottom of the screen. You can also come to my my, POC, my PDK Discord or all things YouTube and talk to me there. And if you're interested in joining my corporation, Malro, Malevolon Row Industries for some high-sex high sex shenanigans. We also explore low-sec wormholes and all-sec stuff. We, we play around in kind of all the areas focused on high-sec. Great group of guys. You want to check us out. Link to our website is shown in the at the bottom of the video. It'll also be in the description of this video. As always, take care of each other. And I'm
I'm out of here.